The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power of Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have down today? Half a percent on the S&P cash, down 24 points. Uh, Dow's down half a percent, too. I was kind of looking a little bit more for that after everybody read through uh, the infrastructure bill and saw the lack of infrastructure in the infrastructure bill. Uh, NASDAQ down a little bit more, kind of uh, giving back a little bit of a huge run over the last week or so. Uh, but uh, down 118 points. Uh, Russell's down 17. Uh, crude oil's uh, up a couple bucks. Uh, everybody... Uh, in the administration wants to make sure uh, that we're paying eight bucks a gallon, I guess. Every time it looks like it's going to go down, they do something incredibly stupid to make sure crude goes higher. And if you're trading it, it's one thing. If you're paying for it, it's another. Uh, gold's up uh, two bucks. But uh, that's kind of it. Uh, we've got, um, I think that's, that's kind of it. We've got a little bit of a pullback. Options uh, go delta neutral tomorrow. If you're new to the show, it's something I spend a lot of time with uh, because I suspect that it makes the market a, a lot more predictable on a statistical basis. And that is uh, they start selling uh, arms to both sides to even out any moves over the next uh, seven days from Thursday to the 19th. Uh, but we were on the very, very top edge of uh uh, on the right shoulder of what anybody should expect for returns. I put that in the newsletter this morning. And, you know, we'll get a better prediction uh, tomorrow. But right now, it looked like 460 to 470 in the S&P, uh, or in the spies, uh, let me put it that way. So that we kind of got up there, we kind of hit a wall. It's probably time to consolidate at a minimum some of those wins. Uh, I still remain long in one position just because I think it's going to vastly outperform the market, even if the market goes lower. Um, but we shall see. We've got to see how it closes today. But it's up on a bad day, so that's always nice. Uh, but uh, as I said, uh, tomorrow I'm probably thinking a lot more after I looked at options, uh, what I'm thinking about doing for the next uh, seven or eight days or so. But right now, is this... Uh, Maybe a little foreshadowing of uh, trying to get the market down tomorrow so they can sell a lot of puts so they can move it right back up. I don't think there's a lot of upside. So the big trading range maybe have a very short window of going after it. If they push this market down and then pop it right back up in the next couple of days, my guess is that we go back to a very tight market at 4700 uh, just so many options uh, at that point suggest that no one uh, in the option market maker uh, uh, business thinks that we're going to go higher than that. So uh, we can keep a look. Yeah. Yeah. You know, basically, I'll, I'll paraphrase from the den. And that is that we have a bunch of folks from Malibu who gave a huge amount of money. And that money was to make sure that the rest of us didn't have any money to drive with <laughs> so uh, for gas prices. But uh, you know what? If you want massive inflation, all you got to do is raise gas prices because it raises the prices of everything that has to be transported. And, of course, it is the most regressive tax on the poor. It is probably the worst thing you can do if you want to get reelected. But, uh, hey, don't let anybody know I told them that. Uh, other things going on in the market. Uh, I wanted to take a look at uh, uh, market volume. A uh, little light today. 
uh, not massively light. Uh, 7.3 billion shares as we start the show. But uh, what else can you say about that? Uh, everything uh, that we were talking about uh, that had popped kind of lately, like AMD, Microsoft, uh, those the usual suspects a bit lower. Uh, the one that I was talking about yesterday, uh, of course, was uh, NVIDIA uh, coming up on earnings, too, for that. Um, was up a little bit more about uh, 318, 319 earlier in the day. It's, eh, it's down about a percent. I have to say that I'm fairly jaded uh, with uh, the kind of, uh, what would you say, uh, hyperbole in the market, uh, especially for technology. Uh, but the uh, presentation from NVIDIA, absolutely staggering. It doesn't mean that they're going to be able to do all that stuff tomorrow. But uh, there's a great deal of the stuff, maybe 20% that they can do in the coming weeks and months. But uh, from hardware, uh, they switched very much to uh, being a software company. And there is a ton of things that they're offering now, uh, things that I'm going to be using in the near future for some of the stuff I do for the stock market. But, uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff uh, out of those guys. You'd have to see the presentation, but uh, a lot of it along the uh, metaverse kind of uh, idea. A lot of it's uh, going to be tricky and expensive right now. Um, they are showing that they can do it, though, which is kind of interesting. It's possible. question is whether or not it's profitable uh, to do that and, you know, spend the kind of money you get that done. But uh, everything from uh, routing uh, to uh, giant computers uh, and uh, mega computers, just it's staggering what these guys have in front of them in the future. Probably the thing that amazed me the most on NVIDIA uh, was uh, their uh, quantum simulator uh, with, I forget how many GPUs, it, I think there was 10,000. Uh, graphic processor units. That's like having 10,000 video cards in your machine, but uh, they just have the chips. But uh, they're simulating some very uh, uh, nice stuff in the quantum realm. So when the quantum computers do come along, we have software for it. Uh, but they're answering some of those quantum uh, questions already. Uh, if the answers uh, don't take too much computation, they can at least get close, and they are doing that, especially with drugs and some other stuff. So uh, very interesting technology from NVIDIA. Maybe uh, on the pullback here, if it's uh, maybe back to 250 or something, if we get a, a decent market pullback, um, I'll be ready to pull the trigger again on them. Uh, even in a down market, even in a bear market, I think that there is a price to buy NVIDIA at uh, as they go forward. Again, uh, AMD, NVIDIA, eh, are they down a couple of bucks? Yes. Uh, can they both sell four times as much stuff as they could produce? Uh, if they could do that for the next six months, they still wouldn't get to the point of saturation. So always a tough one that I don't want to see short. Uh, when we get back, we'll talk a little, about, a little bit about uh, history. Uh, we'll talk about Tesla, 3D system, a few others out here uh, that are having kind of a fair day. Bad. Be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we come back, uh, looking at a market, we'll check back in on the indexes, down 24 on the S&P. Uh, let's do a little history, and then we'll get into the rest of the charts. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1895, Gen uh, German professor, uh, physics professor uh, Wilhelm Röntgen, stumbles upon what he would later describe as x-rays while experimenting with electrical discharge tubes. Curious as what to do uh, and what was causing a faint green glow on a nearby fluorescent screen, uh, Rontgen began systematically studying the unknown x-rays and published the first paper on the phenomenon less than two months later. He referred to the rays as x, indicating they were an unknown form of radiation at the time. Uh, one of the first pay, uh, persons to get the paper was a gentleman known uh, by his last name and by the car name today, Tesla. Uh, he went down there and stuck his head in front of it for a very long time, uh, described a lot of different uh, effects that it had, uh, also seeing things, um, did it for quite a while, wrote a paper out of it, thought that uh, it was a way of unlocking a man's mind. Uh, for better uh, and stronger purposes. Uh, of course, after a few months of doing this, he had uh, untreatable sores all over his head, and he wrote a second paper saying, uh, hey, uh, you probably shouldn't stick your head in front of x-rays. So when everybody talks about Tesla, remember he was a genius, and he was absolutely mad. And uh, he cut his naughty bits off before he died. He was so mad. But, uh, eh, what a whack job. Anyway, Röntgen uh, made a bunch of other uh, discoveries. Uh, a pretty good scientist uh, out of Germany at the time. And, of course, uh, laid the, uh, the, the uh, way for many of the quantum physicists to come behind him uh, out of Germany that would eventually leave and come to the United States. But uh, on this day in 1895, created something that uh, Mr. Tesla would stick against his head and uh, cook his brain. But uh, I do digress. Uh, uh, da -da 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 
<laughs> okay. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, we wanted to talk about uh, some of the stuff going on. Okay. Oh, I wanted to get a chart up. Got to remember what it goes on. Okay. Uh, first one I wanted to get to was NVIDIA. As we said yesterday, we're having a dog and pony show late last night. Um, I think it was about 4 o'clock in the morning. It was rebroadcast here in the States at 9 a.m. I did watch pretty much the whole thing. Uh, pretty much a incredible story. I think maybe uh, more people than not knew about what was going on inside uh, and what they were going to announce, and maybe that's why it was up that high. I uh, went to a higher high, a little lighter volume. Uh, may just have outrun itself. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of going short NVIDIA, but uh, more of a, a market thing, I think, uh, or sector thing than it was uh, since AMD kind of got the same thing out here. So certainly we've got uh, a fairly interesting high. Uh, as I said, uh, tomorrow we go to uh, Delta Neutral. Uh, expect some pretty wild swings in the market. Uh, but uh, you know what? Uh, it's going to give us a much better view in 24 hours about where they think the market will go for expiration on the 19th. But uh, And not surprising that we have kind of a nice little uh, pop out here. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I, I see those ads occasionally. Uh, so anyway, we got NVIDIA there. Of course, um, one of the uh, stocks that came out with earnings did very well early in the morning when it came out for uh, earnings. That was SSYS. What I disliked about it was it gave it all up. I said that was problematic. Uh, DDD uh, came out with earnings. Um, they opened uh, low went lower down to 2778 uh again I, I these guys get a lot more of their stuff from china and there was a lot of problems with uh i think a little bit of sales and a whole lot of uh getting uh some of the parts that they needed to build their systems uh but a sharp open below the three by three all the way down to 2778 so uh we shall see but anyway Kind of interesting uh, move out here. Uh, I would say back to the 25.05 low or thereabouts. Um, still a good business, just uh, in the longer term. Um, supply crisis is going to continue to be problematic for a lot of these companies. Uh, let's see what we have out here. Uh, get that a little bit thing. Yeah, you're just in a big trading range. Uh, I think that that goes back to about 23, 25 bucks to about 41 bucks. So light volume, better uh, issues with uh, uh, the supply chain for them getting parts and stuff. I think SSYS and DDD should be okay. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have out here? Um, we were going to talk about Tesla, uh, TSLA uh, getting smacked around like a redheaded stepchild. Uh, as I said uh, before, you always see these big candles generally when they break the three by three displaced moving average. You had one day, you got yesterday, but people asking whether they should buy back into this over the next last couple of days made me uh, just shiver. Um, it got down close to a thousand. I suspect that we are going to see uh, uh, Musk sell his 10% share, and then they're going to try to drive it back up. My guess is you're probably looking, uh, if you can get it, uh, about 1175-ish is where you'd pull the trigger on this if we don't get a lot of people moving and short on it. If people continue to pile back short on uh, this, it becomes a problem and not a shortable solution. But uh, a lot of shorts got blown out. You got a huge pullback in this. It's going to be with fairly decent volume, but I would love to see one more attempt. Maybe it takes to the first of the year to get this back up, but uh, I would suspect that a 
ton of new cars uh, that are competition to Tesla are going to be shipping soon enough. Uh, <laughs> ah, the people in the den have lots of fun. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com or put a message in the den. If there's something that you want uh, to, uh, to take a look at. I think we've got a couple of emails already. We'll go back to them. Oh, already going to the break. We'll be back in a minute. 877 Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, got a question on PayPal, what changed so much? Uh, I don't think anything changed. I think just eventually there was the last straw that broke the camel's back. PayPal had been a adjunct of eBay for so long uh, before there was a lot of competition uh, with uh, both Bitcoin and other fintech solutions. But I have a feeling that uh, companies like Vimo and a pack of others, especially in the not in the U.S., but outside the U.S., have really gone after the pay, uh, PayPal market. And... 
you know, if you snooze, you lose. They really didn't do much in the way of innovation uh, to keep up with it uh, and the Bitcoin stuff. Uh, secondarily, a lot of what eBay had been doing uh, was stuff from uh, uh, China. In fact, I'm trying to think of anything I bought off of eBay that wasn't uh, some kind of transship thing that I could have bought from Alibaba. Uh, and had shipped over here. If I could wait six weeks for it to show up, I'd pay a fourth. Uh, so there is kind of a big business in reselling uh, cheap stuff like screws, nuts, bolts, uh, mo motors, uh, parts, uh, all kinds of little knickknack stuff that I wear. And uh, it's kind of like Christmas because they just kind of show up out of the blue. Uh, but uh, you know what? Don't use PayPal to buy it. And I suspect, but I do not know for a fact, that's it. I do suspect that the other apps on the phone uh, are uh, a lot easier uh, to use, especially for young folks. Uh, they aren't uh, and didn't grow up with PayPal. Uh, PayPal uh, wants to link to your bank account. A lot of people dislike that. And now that they have uh, other options, um, are going with it. So... Uh, I don't think, does uh, PayPal own Vimo? I thought that uh, it was owned by somebody else. Let's see. That's what Mr. Google is for. They don't, oh, they do own them. Well, there's other things. You got to think that something's going on out there. Where'd the stuff go? Maybe it was just the PayPal stuff. I didn't see inside of it. Uh, but there are a lot of those stuff. Maybe Vimo is out and other companies back in again. I didn't track it that far. It didn't look good going into earnings. Uh, you had lots of volume on the way down that was telling you that there could be possible problems with it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe as a company, it just has the problems that other ones do. I don't follow it very well. But uh, I, there's a lot of stuff. Maybe it is just straight Bitcoin out there where people are looking at that as the future. But I know there's four or five competitors to Vimo. Maybe that's it. Maybe they everybody thought that Vimo was going to be the big winner. And there's just a lot of them out there, including Bitcoin. But uh, I'm sure we'll hear in the next few days. I'll, uh, I'll take a look and see. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, PayPal bot brain tree. Okay, good enough. Anyway, uh, we will do this uh, for the uh, um, for the uh, PayPal people. It is the loser. Down twenty six. Down eleven percent. And there's a couple other ones that are just as bad, but yeah, that one really looked like it broke. Uh, okay, what else do we have out here? I uh, got some more emails during the break. Delta neutral. Please explain this term. Uh, options go delta neutral. Uh, options start and can be uh, maybe as long as 90 days, actually. They used to have a bunch of ones that are longer. Maybe they still do, uh, where you could buy leaps, which are out a year or two years. Uh, anyway, options can be like 90 days. Most of them run for a period of somewhere on average for 65 days. And what happens is there's pre a lot of premium to start off with because, of course, you're buying protection. Options are just like buying insurance on your house. You don't hope that your house burns down, or most people don't, uh, to collect. It's there in case something goes bad. Options were always an insurance policies for those who didn't want to have some kind of uh, alternate hedge uh, in a particular stock. So what you have, though, is that premium continues to decay. And if it's over 60 or 90 days, uh, that decaying, by the time you get down to the last seven or eight days, the risk becomes uh, exponential for the people that actually ho uh, hold it. So if you're a big market maker and you think that, uh, you know what, I'm looking at Apple, maybe at the highest it goes to 160, maybe at the lowest it goes to 140. So I'm going to sell uh, as many 160 puts as I can. Or, uh, call. Excuse me, I'm going to sell as many 160 calls as I can and 
and uh, sell as many uh, uh, 140 puts as I can. And I'm going to just let that run for the next uh, 60 days. Well, the problem is that generally it's going to kind of move to one side or the other for the most part. But uh, there are going to be other options in there. And the idea is to make sure that no matter what happens, if it goes up 10 bucks or goes down 10 bucks, whatever you have made from that last 60 days of options does not go away. That's called, not, uh, that's called delta hedging. So if you're long with, say, maybe uh, some calls, you may short the equity and actually go long the equity so that everything is fixed. There's no way that you're going to get blown out, lose a lot of money. You won't gain any. But the idea is to not have to try to fire sell all those options uh, a handful of days. Now, back in the late 80s and early 90s, a thing came along called the Black-Scholes model. That model was a mathematical model that showed that really the major losses were in the last seven to eight days of trading options for these big market makers. They decided, well, we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll sell, we'll sell arms to both sides. The war will just continue, and we'll be able to clean up on the other end. So Delta Neutral is doing nothing other than making sure that the war uh, continues as much as possible, uh, but neither party or either side wins, and they walk away with the uh, premium decay of the first uh, 50, 60, 70 days. Now, when they do that, they have to actually change the market. And this is when, kind of like uh, when paramutual betting and the, uh, and the horses uh, line up to the gate and they don't take any more uh, bets, you know, in that last few seconds, uh, those odds will kind of move around as people make last-minute bets. But generally, uh, people are very good at a group of signaling where uh, a, a particular stock or uh, who's going to win. If you ask enough people, generally you get a fairly good wisdom of the crowd answer. And that's what I look at. Now, sometimes uh, you get, uh, in fact, we showed it yesterday. Maybe I still have it in my... Uh, thing. Uh, good question. Uh, I do. Uh, we'll talk about uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. We'll talk about this. We talked a little bit about it yesterday. And that's just what the curve, uh, the probability curve looks like, Rob. Look back at Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, PayPal during the break and none of it makes sense and of course the people that are uh, pushing the stories say that yeah that's what they heard but yeah it doesn't make any sense either so I don't know maybe there's a little more to that uh, as we were talking about uh, what Delta neutral is for uh, options uh, options uh, uh, expire on the 19th this month the third Friday of every month uh, what you have is that last seven trading days from the close of Wednesday tomorrow uh, through Friday where they figured out mathematically uh, that it's a bad deal to take, uh, 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 that they could get blown out. Uh, so they tend to hedge all their bets to the point where they're going to keep whatever they've made in those options up to, up to tomorrow. So it's not uncommon to see a lot of big swings in the market. And generally, those swings are option market makers and the rest of the folks just move in the market around so that they can add shorts and buy longs uh, throughout the day. Uh, so they're actually hedging the other side of a lot of those uh, puts and calls uh, with actual equities, either short or long, the actual equity out there. And the whole idea is just so that uh, whatever they made up till tomorrow's close, they keep all the way through the 19th. Now, do they always do it 100%? No. Some stocks don't have enough uh, uh, volume in the options to get it done. But you generally, you're going to see a couple of things come out of uh, options. Uh, on the left-hand side here, I've got the skewness that I showed yesterday. And that just, uh, if you're looking at the black line in there, which is the center one, standard bell curve uh, kind of means that uh, eh, maybe they don't have a good idea where it's going to. A move, but maybe it's a few bucks up or down. Uh, sometimes it's the red or blue line uh, where they really think that, man, the stock could go a whole lot higher, but it's not going lower. And if you're on the blue line, they think you can go a lot higher, but it's probably not going lower. Uh, so they can have a skewed bet to one side or the other in the options. Uh, but uh, generally, if you put enough of them together, you're going to get something over on the right hand side. And that, uh, with a, a, the plurality of the stocks, tells you what's probably going to happen in the index. As you see, a lot more of the, the uh, kurtosis blue line uh, in the center, as we talked about it yesterday. And that just points to kind of a fairly narrow uh, trading range. And we've got something that kind of looks like that. Uh, but we have a huge amount of uh, skewness on the other side at this time. So tomorrow, generally is thought of as a big day in the market because they'll try to take that skewness out and they'll try to take the kurtosis out and you'll get something that looks more like the black line on the right hand side kind of a standard a standard uh uh, uh bell uh curve or gaussian distribution as it's called where 66 percent of it happens uh uh is going to happen in the uh, uh the uh enter one third of it you're going to have one third on each side but that's a whole lot less of that but you can go back to your basic statistics book on that but this is what you get out of options if you get enough of them and it's not during uh 
quad witching where this gets much more confused. So I, th I think I've just gotten to the point now where I'm not going to answer anybody when we talk about uh, options expiration during uh, quad witching because there's just too many cross currents and it's the predictions just don't seem to work out. But the other nine months of the year, they tend to work very well. Uh, big brothers in uh, PayPal. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not exactly sure that that's true, Fletch. I think that's the plan, but I don't think that that actually happens. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe someone will call in or email uh, if that $600 level stuck. Last I heard, they moved it to five grand, uh, and that was uh, Janet Yellen was pushing that crap. But uh, I do not understand uh, that uh, that is actually a done deal. Thought it was a proposal that would have to go through the House and be approved by the Senate, and I don't think uh, there's any appetite. Uh, that kind of slowly went away. But uh, maybe there's some other stuff. Maybe I'm wrong on that, too. 877-927-6648. Okay. Uh, question of got what's going on out here. Uh, uh, okay. Question about uh, you did like uh, to short, uh, you did like going long, uh, MUX for gold, and I see you haven't done that. What has changed? They went from 13 and 15 days to cover to five days to cover. So the the, the shorts have finally gotten out of McEwen mining. Now, maybe that means uh, that it is ready to start moving higher or that they just took their shorts off. But uh, 13 days or 15 days to cover at a high down to about five days, which is still a lot for a $1 stock. Uh, but a third of what it used to be. So maybe does it move? Yeah. But I was hoping that gold would move a couple months ago when these guys were massively shorted, and they are not massively as shorted as they were before. Uh, other things going on out here to, 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 yeah, just kind of the entire market. Uh, about real Question about real estate from Ronald. Uh, do, 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 what is that? Q and uh, B and X. Um, we're up here at the highs. I would just say continue watching the TLT uh, 151. So we're up probably at the highs right now of the TLT 151.07. Got to 151.77. I think a lot of people were short it uh, going in, thinking that there would be some kind of four or five trillion dollar spending bill. And uh, the TLD would be, you know, 115 or something sooner rather than later. Uh, but uh, you know what? Bond vigilantes probably getting out. Uh, but we got to really where resistance is. So we're probably looking at a trading range of uh, 146.50 to 151.75-ish. I'm going to say on the TLT, I don't think it's going higher than 151.75 or 152-ish. There is a massive amount of resistance at that level. But uh, could you have like a nice $5 trading range in the TLT going forward? I think you can. Um, the one thing you didn't get is the same kind of volume you had before in the uh, Vanguard Real Estate Index Fund. Uh, it is just going sideways. But uh, we shall see. But certainly the more that we get a uh, nice uh, high out here in the TLT, the more you've got to get it uh t -t 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 okay got a few other things going on here okay okay and frank says thank you for the delta neutral okay uh, got a few more things going on out here uh t -t 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 -t. Okay. when we return why and we'll wrap up the show.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in saint petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, get ready to wrap up another show. Uh, a couple of questions uh, came in. Uh, one about Best Buy. Um, you know what? Maybe this just goes up into Christmas. I've seen this stock get hammered uh, coming out of uh, earnings back in Jan uh, into the January. And it seems uh, it's more than a little bit of a pattern uh, that I've seen in the past. I don't know if last year uh, qualifies, but... Uh, it, it just seems a lot of people buy into this thing. Uh, you know, there could be a reason in that, you know, the, what they're going to be selling uh, is something that is small and expensive, like iPhones for Christmas. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Um, the big problem is they're certainly probably not going to see the revenues they've seen previously because so much of the stuff is not going to make it to the stores uh, by Christmas. Uh, some of it's been sent back, actually, from what I've heard. But that's a lot of the low margin stuff like low margin TVs. We're not talking about four grand TVs. We're talking about $400 TVs. And sometimes if you're making 25 or 30 bucks, it's almost better not to sell the thing. The reason you've got those is to drag people in and hopefully they buy the more expensive television with more and higher margins uh, that you can make something on. So maybe you make instead of $25 on a TV, maybe you make 50 or a hundred. Um, but, I just don't see it. Uh, certainly, the volume is poor. Uh, first uh, high came at 108. 
uh, back on to, to November 9th of 2020 with uh, 5 million shares. You got 4 million shares on May 10th at 126.98. We're now in a 133.27 on 1.2 million shares so far. So you can see that we're starting to get up into some fairly rarefied air. Um, and I've seen this hold on all the way through Christmas only to get clubbed in January. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.